stage name is actually Jimmy Cox. Yeah, I'm your token heterosexual for the night. Yeah, we love Is it is this a gay bar, by the way? Wow, a gay bar in San Bernardino County. Next thing you know, we'll have a young Republican club in West Hollywood. Well, it's great to be here. Appreciate appreciate you having me. Just a little bit about me. I am from New York. Any New Yorkers in the house? Yeah, from New York. I grew up, you know, I grew up Catholic, you know, but before we start dissing the Catholics, uh, very conservative Catholic church. You know, I, I, I didn't date my first priest until I was 12, you know, so it was very, very very concerned. You know, I do the comedy, of course, and uh, just got back from Bakersfield. And uh, I don't think we have too many Bakersfield people here. But I was up in Bakersfield and uh, actually played the Timothy McVeigh room at the Area Youth Festival there. Yeah, that went that went very well. And then, uh, you know, I, I went over to San Francisco, did a show in San Francisco from Bakersfield. Yeah. And you talk about a, a kind of a difference. It's a beautiful town, but it was kind of disturbing. Uh, the first night there, I was actually arrested for being straight in public. Yeah, it was very upsetting, very upsetting. But I moved on. I was, I was looking at the internet today, you know, and uh, I, doing, the, doing a little bit of the online dating, and I, I, I got a date with this girl from PETA. I don't know, everybody familiar with PETA, you know, people for the ethical treatment of animals. But I, I don't know if you know this, you know, I was kind of ignorant and I go to the I go to the website and PETA has a like a giant chicken. And, and, and the, the chicken looks very upset, this chicken, you know, very upset. And did you guys know that PETA is, is is not happy with Kentucky fried chicken? Do you know that Kentucky Fried Chicken kills chickens, ladies and gentlemen? This, this to me was very upsetting, but even more, more ironic, the irony of this is the spokeswoman for PETA, I don't know if you know this, true story, Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson is the spokeswoman for PETA. Here we have the woman responsible for the choking of more chickens than possibly any woman on earth, yeah. I feel close to you guys, even though I've been very, here a very short time, and I want to put it out there. Uh, I am a recovering alcoholic. Yeah, any recovering alcoholics? Yeah, sure. I haven't had a drink in about uh, 10, 15 minutes, actually. Actually gonna have one right after this set. But the thing about being an alcoholic is when you give up the booze, you know, you need something to fill that. You know, you gotta fill the void. So I started like on coffee, right? You know, innocently enough, you know, the Winchells, Dunkin' Donuts, you know, that kind of thing. Don't be fooled, ladies and gentlemen. These Dunkin' Donuts, Winchell, these are just the gateway coffees. These are the gateway coffees to the heroin of all coffee, ladies and gentlemen, we know what that is, right? Starbucks. Starbucks is the heroine of all coffees. My life is a living hell now. I'll give you an example, I'll just close on this. My normal day in Pasadena, I go to my local Starbucks, five minutes to six in the morning, nose pressed against the window. The barista toying with me, you know, making believe that doesn't even see me, won't open the door a couple of minutes early, bouncing around inside like a Ukrainian gymnast. I think barista actually translates to tweaker. I don't know if you've been to these Starbucks. Finally, right at six o'clock, she lets me in. Right at six o'clock, I go crawling to the counter. Vente drip for the love of God. She looks at me and she had more of a crazed look than normal, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of a twitch. And I'll never forget it to my dying day. She looked at me and she said, I'm very sorry, but we're out of coffee. What kind of 
sick bitch are you? We're dealing with human beings here. Don't joke with me. And sure enough, though, she was telling the truth. I looked out. It was a strip mall like here. I looked out. Ladies and gentlemen, people rolling around in the parking lot. Carnage. Foam coming out of their mouths. Middle-aged housewives trying to sell their bodies for non-fat soy latte. Absolute carnage. But more importantly, what to do? So I walked across the street to the neighboring Starbucks and I got one there. Thank you very much. You've been a great audience. Have a great night. Let's give it up.